Hello and welcome back to Airbrush Ways. I'm Jack and in this little video uh, I'm going to go through how to do fur. So um, I did uh, a couple of paintings of uh, wolves and to get the fur of that wolf I'm going to show you now a nice quick easy way of producing that fur. So what we're going to start with first is the bristles off a yard brush. So if you can see those, those things are just the bristles cut off a yard brush and then a little piece of masking tape put over to hold them in, in place and then we'll use this to produce the fur. So I've already got some paint mixed up. It's a 50-50 mix of Auto Air Transparent Black and our 4012 Reducer. That's the paint there in the cup. And I'm just going to go through a quick demo of how to do the fur. So the first thing is I'm going to spread this yard brush bristle out into a fan. And we'll start off, the first one I'm going to show you is just keeping the spray on and pulling the yard brush, pulling the, the uh, little bristles as we spray. So I'm going to start with this. And you can see how it makes that nice effect. And from there we can see how um, we have this kind of effect of fur. You can see there it's kind of coming up nice. And all we've got to remember is every so often we need to dry this off or at least wipe it off so it doesn't get overloaded with paint. And you can see as I'm pulling at that now I'm just starting to take off bits of paint that are building up on those uh, bristles. So now the next step that we can do, a different way of doing this, is we just spread these out again, get the airbrush and just start here, spray a little bit onto the page. I'm just hitting about half of that come up again. Now, and again now, obviously a little bit of a different style, whereas we're putting this in in separate pieces as we go along, and you can build that up. You can actually, if you wanted to, you could spray over the top of that and just darken it down. So we've gone from this continuous to this where we just go along and spray a little bit at a time. Uh, you can go into those little places there and, and darken it up or lighten it or add a little bit of colour or whatever you want to do after that. And then the third one that I'm going to show you, very similar to that, but I'm going to just start here, spray onto that uh, the end of those bristles and then move it in slightly, spray again, in, spray again. All the time we just build this up, if you had a certain area to go in, you could just keep to that. Or what you could do is get the bristles and just use half of the bristles, spread those out again with just the half. Now 
Now, so three different ways, drag it along, build it up and follow the bristles or bring the bristles in as you go along uh, and three different effects. They're all same, they're all fur off uh, a wolf or an animal or a dog or whatever you want to do. Practice with these and you'll see something come out that you'll say well that looks more like a dog or a cat. This is very rough where we could put this into a horse or whatever we're doing. Something for you to practice and maybe get used to and start putting it into some of your artwork. Okay so please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. If there's any questions just leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely have a look at those and answer them for you as best I can. Okay, I'm Jack, this is Airbrush Ways, thanks for watching, see you again next time, bye.